All right, let's talk real quick about the difference between service and installation or projects. And I kind of put installation and projects together. Now, a lot of people have a sense that one is better than the other. The truth is that they're really just different. Installation and projects do tend to be more physically taxing. And so that has to be said right off the bat. Um, if you're going to be installing ductwork or running copper or uh, doing any sort of fabrication, then there's going to be a significant physical element to that, whereas service, while it does have some physicality to it, is not going to have near the physicality, generally speaking, that you're going to get in the installation and project side of things. As far as mental strain, service does tend to have more mental strain, and that comes along with you know having to solve complex problems and all that, which a lot of us are actually, you know, it's what we like about the trade. But the other side of it that that, that is, an, is a mental strain is that you're forced to interact with people and be responsible for outcomes more often. And so as an example, in service, you're often making decisions yourself. It's not a manager saying, hey, install this job according to the plans. In many cases in service, there are no plans. There may be some specs, guidelines, training, that sort of thing, but you run into circumstances that aren't you know directly outlined in a book or in a guide. And so you have to make calls a lot, especially when it comes to the diagnostic side, meaning figuring out exactly what's wrong with the system. So when you have to make when you have to be the one who makes the call who says this is what's wrong with this piece of equipment and then you're wrong, which will happen happen on occasion, that can create some mental stress and strain. And when you have to talk to a customer about what's wrong with their equipment and tell them that it may be a day before they can get up or whatever the case may be, um, there are some some strains emotionally that go along with that, let alone the fact that in service there is uh, you know an on-call cycle, so you're generally going to have to work at night or on weekends periodically. And in installation and projects, generally your schedule is a little more fixed, although in, there's no segment of our business that's, that isn't prone to some seasonality. So you know there are going to be seasons that are busier than others. In the project and installation side, it's just going to depend on how busy your company is, how many projects they have lined up. On the service side, it generally has a lot to do with weather. So, for example, on the air conditioning side, when you have a hot summer day, you're going to probably work a pretty long day. And there's not necessarily going to be a time that you know that you're going to get off. Whereas on the projects and installation side, there tends to be more clarity about that. And not to say there won't be a, a late night to get a job done every now and again. But there tends to be a little bit more clarity about when you're going to be able to get home at the end of the day. So some people really appreciate that about the projects and installation side. Also, it bears noting that... Sometimes there's a, uh, a disconnect between installation and projects, meaning doing new construction or retrofits or those sorts of things, and the add-on and replacement technician. So especially in residential, often you'll have um, guys who are trained to replace equipment, but they still have a lot of the same skills that service techs have. Some companies call these uh, retail technicians or you know, system replacement technicians or whatever the case may be, and they still have a lot of the same skills of customer interaction and customer service because you're in a customer's home. Anytime you're working in a home with a with a customer, you you got to have those customer service skills, and those become very important. Some of those technicians tend to have some of the same requirements as a service tech, but they have a little bit more fixed schedules because you you generally know how long an installation is going to take, and so there's not so much variability. Whereas with a service technician, you're generally doing whatever service calls come in in a specific day, day or night. And so you're, you're pretty much going to be working some pretty long days when you're very busy and when you're very slow, you're not going to work as much. Um, and so, again, there is going to be some of that in all segments, but on projects and installation, there's going to be less variability, but more physicality, uh, more necessity to do things physically. And then on the service side, there's going to be more mental strain, a little less you know, physical strain on your body. And so what ends up happening in a lot of cases is people, when they're young, they'll start off on the project side, and then they slowly move into the service side. Caveat is when you go into service, customer service, communication, writing, reading, all those things become more important. If you do start in the project side because you like that, you like the workmanship, how things look and feel and work more than you care about the technical side, which is the why and the customer service side, I would still encourage you to grow in the customer service side and some of those service skills because there very likely may come a day where you're going to appreciate having those skills when you want to transition to a less physically demanding job. But again, to kind of pin this down, People who tend to be really good at installation and projects tend to be, the term I use is a, a workman. They like how things look. They like um, doing things very uh, neatly, and they, they focus on their efficiency, whereas technicians on the service side, they gen generally tend to be better with customer service and with solving problems, so figuring out solutions. They tend to be more technical versus mechanical. good example of this is I was always a more technical person. I've always enjoyed solving problems and using the more technical 
technical tools, meters, gauges, those sorts of things. I've never been especially good with a duck knife or with working with sheet metal, um, those sorts of more tactile things. I don't have a good eye for what level is. Um, whereas good installers and project people, they tend to prefer those more physical tools, a saw or a, or a metal brake or something like that, um, versus the more technical tools like the meter or the gauges. So it's good to know which one you are, and it's not to say that you can't transition from one to the other, but there is commonly a transition that is at least attempted at some point once you get tired of the physicality of the install side of things where a lot of people try to move into service. But if you're going to try to do that, you do need to develop those more technical skills and some of that customer service side. All right, we'll catch you on the next video.